A forensic entomology kit is quite extensive, but if you can't get a forensic entomologist to come to your crime scene, it's actually not that difficult to put a kit together yourself. We start out with things like a garden trowel. If it has a serrated edge, that's really good. It's good for taking soil samples, which you might need from the scene if you have to look for puparia in the soil. There's a couple of different thermometers that we use. We use what's called the maximum minimum thermometer to take temperatures at the crime scene for about a week after the collection. You can use just a regular thermometer in order to take temperatures from maggot masses, or you can use a digital thermometer as well. And the entomologist's favorite tool is the net. I like to take a collapsible one into the field. It's easier to pack. In a pinch, a pair of pantyhose stretched over a clothes hanger will also work as a net. And I actually have had police officers that I've taught do that at crime scenes, and it has worked. For all of the adult flies and beetles, those are all done as dead preserved samples. So you do need a killing jar. These are jars with plaster of Paris in the bottom. The jar is charged initially with ethyl acetate. And then keep it closed. You don't want to inhale this or you will pass out. Once the insects are killed in the killing jars, you transfer them to vials. And that's true for the adult flies and the adult beetles, as well as you will collect a preserved maggot sample.